Today, we are having the national competition for the Zero Robotics Middle School Summer Initiative. There are only 13 locations around the nation that have a unique combination of a NAS facility, an education program, uh, facilities that can handle teaching workshops, field trips, and state championships using live video feeds, the International Space Station, and we're one of those sites. So we have uh, over a half dozen teams from across Mon, Marion, and Preston counties here today. They spent five weeks, 15 or more hours a week, controlling a virtual robot that would be aboard the International Space Station. This robot's a, called a sphere, and it uses compressed gas to move around. We built a robot and we tested it out now. It's a Lego robot and it can pick up things and put it onto its back. We use the robot out on our basketball court to pick up all different kinds of objects and run it through obstacle courses. In my eyes, you guys are all the winners because um, you have learned so many valuable lessons. Um, again, in coding, teamwork, logical thinking, which can help you in many different ways uh, in your career directions or you know, everything you might be wanting to do in the future. After the virtual competition concluded, the best teams in the nation, one team from each state, was the winner. And that, those teams today are competing against one another to see who is the national champion in controlling not a virtual robot today, the actual robot. So right now, there are about uh, 100 people from West Virginia, all seated in the auditorium here at the Robert H. Mollahan uh, Research Center in Fairmont. And they're going to watch live as astronauts aboard the International Space Station serve as the referees for a competition where student code that was written here in, in Fairmont is in fact going to control a real robot aboard the ISS. And the champion will be announced, and they'll be the national champ for uh, an entire year until next year, and we'll see how that goes.